we're here. I pretty much made through the first week and man, it's it's been a crazy first week. Literally, as you can see, like I got a haircut today. Um, definitely a new look for a new environment, a new year. But even though I'm here on the last day, there were a few things that did happen. I didn't film a lot of it, but let's rewind a little bit just to see what those things were. Hey guys, how is everyone today? So uh, I just completed my first day of class. Well, first rewind. As many of you guys know, I moved to WKU. I'm coming to classes here now and I moved in on Sunday and I wish like I filmed the whole moving process, but it was so chaotic and so crazy that like I didn't even have time to film any of it. First of all, me and my mom end up leaving a little later in the plan just because I still had to pack early in the morning. Don't ever do last minute packing guys. It's just not a thing. And um, we pretty much got here, I think it was around 12 or one around that time. And um, check-in was great. And um, we found where I was staying, so that was great too. Now, the hardest thing about moving was probably carrying my totes up to my room. Let me give you some insight. I live on the third floor. And when your totes are full of clothes, it's pretty heavy. And you're climbing up maybe two flights of stairs two or three, oh, it is exhausting, okay? And I remember as I was going up and down, I was like, I'm committing today. Like I said that so many times. I was like, I can't do this. Like this is so exhausting. And I hadn't eaten breakfast yet that day either or at all. So I was climbing up those sets of stairs with no food in my system. It was like the hardest thing ever. And then I finally got moved in and my roommate hadn't been moved in yet, but I saw a music sheet on his desk when I had came in here first and I had a feeling he was a music major. And that's an important thing because, and I'll tell you why later. But um, after I got moved in, me and my mom pretty much just went out into town to eat for a little bit and then she had to go somewhere. So I was alone for a little bit. Once I got back here, my roommate had his stuff in here. So I knew that he had been in here and he was, he either was still getting his stuff to move in or he went somewhere else on campus. Either way, he was already here. And when I got back, his electric guitar was out, which earlier I told you guys that I thought he was a music major. And once I saw the guitar, I was like, definitely music major. So then he finally came in at one point and I was like, oh my gosh, it's my roommate. Um, he's a music and chemistry major, which I got that on the nose. That was like the best thing ever. Pretty much ever since then, like he's been, he's been a really great roommate. He's nice, clean, and he's really chill about everything. Like I don't, I don't have to worry about like him doing anything that's gonna cause problems. We pretty much like stay to ourselves or let each other do our own thing, which is like a big thing for me just because um, I was an only child and I didn't grow up with anybody. So like kind of having my own personal space is like a big thing for me. Today's just been the day guys. Like it's so weird because as you guys know, I'm used to Eastern time. I'm not used to like Central time. So like anytime I'm like talking to my friends on FaceTime or texting them, I keep freaking in third hour ahead of me. And I also get tired a lot earlier than usual. And that's because I'm used to Eastern time. So like literally last night, I went to bed around like 11 and usually I wouldn't be in bed until around like maybe one or two Eastern time. So it was, it was the weirdest thing ever. So I was just like, okay, okay, I'm, I'm living for it. I was, I was in, on time for both my classes today. So that was great. But I completed my first day of classes today. I had accounting and um, a Microsoft spreadsheets class. <sighs> Let me tell y'all, it was a little rough, but I'm doing it. But um, now I'm chilling in my dorm because in, as you guys know, the first day of classes are always so exhausting. But so far today, um, first of all, I'm happy it was sunny because it was very warm outside and I didn't have to wear a lot of layers of clothing. Great. Um, did I have to walk up the hill a few times? Most definitely. Kind of exhausted me out. But other than that, it's been a pretty great day. I'm just chilling. I still had to find a job down here and I also have to fill out my scholarship application so that way I can get some scholarships because my keys money end this semester. So I have a bunch of stuff on my to-do list. Hey guys. So today was the last week of my first week here I'm at WKU. And I would have done a vlog whenever class was in session or when I was heading classes, but I kept forgetting. Okay, 
So it's freezing outside. <laughs> but i kind of just want to give you guys kind of a rundown what happened during my first week here at wku i will say that everything turned out to be way better than i thought it would be my professors were a lot more chill my roommate was is really nice and he's pretty chill too and i actually made a couple friends in my classes i haven't made any outside class friends yet but we'll get there one day you know baby steps guys my first week here at wku was so weird and yet so interesting at the same time i don't even know how to explain it i came here thinking that it was gonna be i guess worse than what it actually ended up being just because i'm in a new environment and it's crazy to think that i finished up my first full week here it just it blows my mind i finished my first week of school at wku here and now i'm going to be staying here over the weekend and after that it'll be my first full week here like i moved in here sunday and i'll be staying here the weekend over the weekend so when sunday hits i'll be have been here for at least a week like it's crazy that a week has already gone by looking at my syllabus and all the things that i have to do this semester it's like it feels it's like, I actually feel like I can do it. It's like, there's so many projects that I have to do in one class. I got four projects in one class. And then I have all these reading assignments and smart book assignments. And yeah, like it sounds overwhelming and it looks overwhelming. Like, trust me, when I saw that schedule, I almost had a heart attack. It's like, I'm not scared to do it. Like, is, is that, does that sound right? Like, it's like, I've been at college for so long and I finally kind of have a handle on how the game works. Once you get the handle of things, it's like, it just becomes easier. I don't know why, doing assignments and pacing yourself, it just gets easier the more you do it. Looking back through this week and all the things that my professors uh, kind of introduced to us in our classes, it doesn't feel so overwhelming, which is so weird because usually I'd be so overwhelmed right now. I'd be like, oh my gosh, I have so many assignments to do. Like I have to do this and this and this. But like, I feel more kind of like at peace at where I am right now, which is like, actually really weird like i said before i have made in class friends so like i have people that I actually talk to in class and that i get along with and that like i feel comfortable being around but outside of class i still don't have like a person that like i hang out with outside of class or like when it, or like if i ever want to go to lunch or dinner like somebody that i could text or call up and be like hey you want to go eat together it's funny how everyone thought i was going to have friends or i was going to make so many friends when i got here like i knew that wasn't going to be the case because like people think i'm like this like super i wouldn't say super extroverted but they think it's easy for me to make friends but like in reality like i also choose who i like hang out with if that makes sense as extroverted as i seem from time to time like i'm also like introverted so there are going to be times when like certain social situations aren't going to be easy for me to handle just because i am introverted so like a lot of people always see like the social side of me and be like oh my gosh you're gonna make so many friends and all this and that and i'm just sitting here being like um i don't know about all that but i will say i've met some really great people on campus um including my roommate he's been very helpful i've had so many questions and he's been very open to answering them. From what I've experienced in the past with previous roommates, I was skeptical about how this, how my experience with this roommate was gonna go just because all the roommates I've had, I wouldn't say like they were all bad, but it also wasn't the greatest thing. I was kind of scared going into this like situation where I was gonna be rooming with someone because like for one, I am an only child and I'm not used to sharing my space. And two, judging from like what I read um, on the housing application that like we had to fill out, I was a little nervous that we weren't gonna mesh well just because of the information that he put on there. But once I got to meet him in person and actually get to know him, it ended up being a lot better than I thought. And like, honestly, we're very respectful of like each other's space and boundaries. And even though we're not like best friends, we are very friendly towards each other and we can actually have a conversation, which I'll take over anything, honestly. It's nice to know that this transition into this new environment is like a lot easier than I thought I was gonna be because I was very anxious and anybody who knows me watching this knows how anxious I was. It was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. And now after going through the first week at WKU, 
I'm definitely going to love it here. The only thing that's kind of like up in the air though right now is whether I'm gonna be joining any clubs or any organizations. There are a lot of great organizations here on campus. There's actually like a couple organizations that I was part of in my previous, at the previous college that I was in that they also have here. But one thing that I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to like be open to something new. I still haven't found that new thing yet. And I'm really hoping that like, if God has it in his hands, um, that I do find something or I or the something that's meant for me here finds me. I would actually love that. And I'm very excited to see what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm not gonna just push to be like an ambassador like I was or help out in an office like I did. I kind of want to do something a little different. Um, I don't know what different looks like. Um, literally day by day, I'm just kind of taking it step by step, kind of getting used to the environment around here. But honestly, guys, like I'm so excited to see what I'm going to be doing here. Like, I still don't know what that looks like right now. But with all these organizations and clubs that WKU has, I'm sure there's going to be per somewhere that I can fit into. And that's something that I'm going to be looking forward to while I'm here. But that pretty much sums up like my first week in the future. I will definitely be uploading more school content in any way that I can. Um, I definitely want to show you guys like all the different stuff that's around campus and what like campus has to offer if I ever get the chance to. But even though this video is like small, like not some like grand video for like a first YouTube video or anything like that, I am excited to show you guys like the other content that I plan on posting. There will definitely be more vlogs. This was more of a reflection video. It's a great way for me to start since, you know, I just got finished with the first week of school. But guys, definitely keep checking back on this channel to see the content that I'll be uploading. Um, I'm not gonna promise an upload schedule just because like school could get crazy, but I will definitely try to upload as much as I can. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and following this channel. And honestly, just thank you so much for being on this journey with me and let's grow this channel together. Bye.